Good morning, here we are on stop two for the TBF Team Trail, Minnesota TBF Team Trail. Back in action. Morning, banger. Morning, sir. Hopefully you saw the practice video. If not, you can check. Oh, Marty, come on. Get your exhaust fixed. <laughs> if you didn't see the practice video, you can go back and watch that. I'll pin it down in the comments below. But we're excited. We had a good start to the season. We got a second on the river. Practice was a little bit up and down, but there was some promising signs of some, some good fish. So this tournament, this lake, is known to kick out absolute giants. I love you, Rich! He's only human, he's not wrong. It's gonna take it's gonna take five big ones for sure. This lake typically takes 23 to sometimes close to 30 pounds to win. Eight pounders. Kicker. Let's do it. So let's go out and get some and have some fun. Heck yeah. Morning. Gotta be. Do you say so? <laughs> I'm just a guy. He's not that big. Fish one, but he ain't much. <laughs> I'll throw a tag in this one and put him on the small side. Good one. Ready? Yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right over the GoPro. <laughs> Is that her? I don't know if that's her or not. That might be her. That might have been the one we caught in practice. Eh, maybe not, but it, it's a good one. There's one of the right ones. Clean bank. I was just like swimming it down these rocks. I hate it. 
I don't know what's in. I didn't get them for some reason. Like, felt it like, oof, I pulled and it just kind of pulled free. I didn't really like. Very simple, right? I'm shade here. Yeah. Makes me not feel bad about the bite that I missed a little bit ago. Oh, that's good. Maybe we should fish a couple more rocks. Yeah. Not a giant, but for now, <laughs> close to three. But probably not quite. Small side. I feel like this is a bad omen that we're even having to like peek at it. I don't know why we're putting him in the box, but uh, that's number five, and he's he's tiny. Big side. Four and a half, four and a quarter. Yeah, oh Boom. Upgrade. Nice. Decent call. We probably still got to get rid of that one, but. I thought they were supposed to fucking chew an accent right down to their throat. Got him. Good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my jeez. Oh, <laughs> 
two more. I missed this fish twice on a jig. <laughs> then the Senko got him. All right, red then yellow. Ketchup and mustard. Ketchup and mustard. Now we just gotta work on well, we need mustard and. Hold on. These are the calls. Yes. Good, good calls. So now it's mustard and white. Yep. Teamwork, it's dream work. No yellow mustard. Yep. Black. Yep, so yellow goes. Yellow goes, that was bump, bump that against white. Cullen three pounders. Dude, that's one. That's like a green one. Yeah, this one. Oh, yellow. Okay, yellow goes still. That won't mess with your system. Cheddar wagon. Noon o'clock. We got a decent bag, but there's two that we absolutely need to call still in the small side. And uh, three and a half pounds. Yeah, they're probably like three and a half, three and three quarters, but we need probably two, four or five pounders, maybe a six, I don't know. But we're gonna keep fishing, working hard, and try to get two more bigs. All right, bit of an issue. <laughs> Lost the SD card that had the last three hours of this tournament. So let me give you a quick recap of what happened. So there were several more fish catches by both Banger and myself. A lot of two, three, three and a half pound fish, but they didn't quite call. So you really didn't miss anything. The final bag goes caught on tape. We fished hard, jumped around, uh, rotated baits, caught fish on jigs, Senkos, mag drafts, uh, bladed jigs, things like that. So you did miss a little bit of the video of us like bagging up the fish and going to the weigh-in and all that stuff, but we'll make sure we get that next time. If you're interested in any of the baits and gear that we use in this tournament, I'll have links down in the description below if you want to check them out. The fish that you did see, the big one came on a Bass Tech jig with a little bit of three inch chigger craw on it. Kind of got the day started with that, caught pretty much a limit on that to start the day. And then I called a couple times with the half ounce thunder cricket which i rarely use but i got bit on it in practice as you saw in the practice video really well and so i just rocked that with that uh, four and a half inch uh, tactical minnow which was a really good combination for big stone all week long and then banger got three key fish texas rigging a weightless senko uh, and picking off fish several of those fish like missed my jig or like would bite a claw off it and then he'd throw back in there and get them on the senko we were really focusing on the fish that were moving shallow. There was a lot more people fishing offshore up behind us that had very similar bags. They did end up, some of them did have a little better bags, some of them had worse bags. Ultimately, we weighed 20.95 pounds for five fish. Big fish was right at five pounds. Ultimately, you just can't have fish under four pounds on Big Stone in your bag. We needed like, we were like a couple tenths out of a check and two pounds out of the wind. So uh, a four pounder gets us in the money, a four and a half pounder pushes up you know, into a nice range and then a five pounder wins the tournament, which is very realistic on Big Stone. But we were fishing shallower. We were fishing for those fish that were first hitting the banks, the steeper banks, uh, before they went into the flat areas where we believed they were going to spawn. Really felt like that was the idea because the water was raising slightly. It's been warm. It was a warming trend. I thought those fish were coming to us. We may have just been a tiny step ahead of the fish, but uh, I really thought that was the right thing to be doing. If you love footage of catching big bass like we did, but even better, 
Make sure you check out last year's Big Stone Tournament video right here.